In one of the most recent updates to Brizzy, we've added a number of new types of line to the line element. Let me show you quickly where that is. So if you want to play around a little bit with it, you will know where to find these. Now, we've always had a few different kinds of types. And if you access the options toolbar for the line element, you're going to see we have type here and then a drop down menu. And we've always had a number that you could have choose from, like the dotted, which is very standard. Now, when you go into it and you scroll down a little bit, you're going to see there are a number of interesting, fascinating, colorful ones that you can use. So let's just grab one here randomly. I'll grab this one and then see what we can do with it. Now, what I did with this line, I had reduced it. So let's make it a little bit longer so we can see the effect better. And you see, once you select the type, you have the weight, the amount and the height. Now, the weight starts at one pixel and as you increase it, you're going to see it looks thicker. Basically what the weight does, it makes the stroke thicker. So if you have something very thin, you want to look at a little bit more bolder, then you're going to play around with the weight. Let's leave it on one pixel and look at the amount. The amount is a stretch function. And now you can see as I increase the amount, you're going to see more of this pattern in more detail. And I think this actually looks much better at a higher amount. You also have percentage over here. If you put it on 100%, and then 1%. I prefer pixels here. So let's go to pixels and I had it around 80 something. Just to show you then again, now that we have it at a higher amount, what will happen if I increase the weight? It's just more stroke that is added to that pattern. And then the height, you can stretch it and reduce it so it looks good on the page you're working with. And that's it. A lot of new types. Let's scroll down and have a look at a few more. Let's decrease the amount here. And then another funky one, almost like a Morse code. Here I also let's increase the amount here, decrease the height a little bit. And have a look at one more. Let's look, work with this one. Here I'll increase the height, otherwise it doesn't really make sense. And then you can increase the weight. And one more. The amount. Right, and here, definitely decrease the height to make it fit onto your page. Go check out all these new types that we've added to the line element. And for more tutorials and updates, ensure you subscribe to this YouTube channel. Visit us at brizzy.io for the latest updates and also go read the blog there. I'll see you in the next video.